I look cute. Are you guys tired of seeing me wear the same thing over and over? I just want to say that I have a minimalist, minimalist wardrobe, so really I only own, I think about 50, which is a lot by the way for a minimalist wardrobe, but I only own like 50 tops and bottoms. So, and shoes, like if you count them all together, I only own 50. That's why you continuously see me in the same thing. There you go, just a little tip for you. Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mooney Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today is another seven on Sunday. And honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not very pumped for the prompts that we have for seven on Sunday. But again, I, I can't complain because it's not like I'm putting out prompts out there. But um, a lot of these prompts, and this is some um, constructive criticism, are starting to seem a little bit repetitive. I'm looking for the prompt for today, sorry. So yeah, they're starting to seem a little bit repetitive and um, yeah, but I still want to keep participating because it's a fun challenge to do for Sunday. So today is July 5th. And we're gonna do books you want to read in the second half of 2020. As we are now in the second half of the year, what books do you have the goal to read finished by the end of 2020? Now, I, I think that for me right now, I'm kind of low-key doing a project where I'm not buying physical books anymore unless it's something that I have read in another format and I really, really, really want it. So, I have a nice little stack here of books. There's a few of them. But I do want to mention some audiobooks I want to get to just because, well, I want to get to them and I will possibly buy the physical book if I get, if I enjoy them. So the first one I want to mention is The End of the Ocean by Maja Lund. I'm gonna say it like if I was French. Maja Lund. So, um, this is a you're gonna see a, you're gonna see something here. It's all basically sci-fi because sci-fi. This is like a sci-fi world. It basically, the the oceans have dried up, and it's the story of a father and daughter and trying to find water. This I saw this actually in Spanish in my local bookstore, but it was 21 euros, and that that's about double what I normally pay for a book, and it's on Scribd for zero euros. Well, okay, for the nine euros I pay a month. So I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the audiobook and then if I like it, I'll get the physical copy. The second book I want to get is Infoma. I'm, I'm never gonna say this. Infoma, if Infomocracy, Infomocracy, Infomocracy. Okay, a novel by Malka Older. Now this is a sci-fi that is by a Latin X author. And I need more of this in my life because I find that finding sci-fi books written by Latinx authors is actually quite difficult. So I really want to get to it. I actually don't know anything about it and I don't care because I love to go into books blind. And then the last book that I have here is, which I already ordered, it hasn't gotten to me yet, Vanished Birds, a novel by Simon Jimenez. Now, I don't know, I, Simon Jimenez is definitely American, but Simon Jimenez sounds really, really Latinx, and I'm pretty sure his parents are at least, he's half uh, la Latino. So, uh, I'm really excited. This sounds amazing. This is like about a woman that does space travel. <laughs> things look a little bit different someone was at my door to bring me book mail but anyway uh, oh, by the way we can all see my pimple we're gonna ignore it but yes so we were talking about vanish the vanished birds this is the story about a woman who finds this little boy out in space and then there's people trying to get this boy and she becomes kind of a mother figure to him it is said to be recommended for people that really love Becky Chambers and her style and it sounds like it's gonna be feel-good sci-fi and I'm all about it and I already ordered this book but it has yet to arrive and it wasn't the book that just arrived that you will see in another haul. Anyway, those are some of the non-physical books that I want to get to by the end of the year. The next few, I <laughs> I love this because I, I don't think I'm gonna do a haul in the end because you're just gonna see all of the books that I have hauled recently. You're gonna see them here. So anyway, uh, the five, D 
the untold uh, lives of the woman killed by Jack the Ripper. I have talked about this before when I called it. This is literally the story of the women and the victims of Jack the Ripper. We hear so much about the Jack the Ripper, we don't even know who he is, if he even is a he. And yet, we don't know anything about the women that he killed and what a great injustice it is that we know all about the murderer of a bunch of people but we don't know their story so i want to find out about their stories and this is definitely a book that i want to get to come winter time this is also a book i haven't hauled yet I, I i still don't know if i'm gonna do a haul at all at this point but there are a bunch of books up there that you haven't seen but anyway uh infinity sun by adam silver this is signed by the author this is signed by the author. I didn't know this was signed by the author. I got it for four bucks. But anyway, again, I want to read this because this is apparently, I know Adam Silvera is Latinx, and I want to read more sci-fi by Latinx. All I know is that there's two brothers thrown into an epic war generations in the making. I mean, <laughs> brothers, war, generational things. I can't. A fight for good and evil between those born with power and those who took it. One brother has the power to end it all. The other brother, the the other will stop at nothing in his pursuit of glory. Who will live forever and who will die trying? I am so excited about this book. I know the sequel just came out. So I really want to get to this so that I can get to the sequel. Up next, I haven't seen anybody talk about this book. But this book, first of all, let me show you the cover. Hello? what is this cover even what is this beautiful beautiful amazing cover but this is the daughters of i'm gonna say re or enry i'm sorry i i, I don't know how to pronounce that but this is by reni k amayo she is a black author and this is um this is basically there are two sisters that are goddess goddesses and the twins are separated at birth a prize paid to ensure their survival from Ense Ochichiri, the man who rules the kingdom of Nri. Both girls are tested in ways that awaken a mystical, formidable power deep within themselves. Eventually, their paths both lead back to the mighty Ense. What? Again, it's like these, these, what are these two? Oh, they look the same. These two books sound amazing. I love that they're about sibling relationships. I love that they're about sibling rivalry i love that um it's about siblings having power one of my uh works in progress is about this and i i can't wait to sink my teeth into this i haven't seen anybody talk about this one and i'm just so excited about it okay up next we have jamaica inn by daphne du maurier um i have no idea what this is about but this is daphne du maurier and i actually also have the Loving Spirit by Daphne du Maurier. These will uh, be the all the books I have from Daphne du Maurier, which I'm really excited because that way I can read all of the works that I have from her and I can buy some more because that would be just straight up awesome. All right, up next, I got The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. Again, kind of dystopian sci-fi uh, sort of stuff mother uh i know that the, there's a mother in this book and she's a badass i'm just like see i'm not skimming through it and i'm really excited to read it i i, I think i i think i'm due for a tbr clear out um because i realized that i have a bunch of book in there on my tbr that are starting to feel like required reading and we don't want that in our lives so i might just film a tbr clean out thing and put a bunch of books up on my Twitter to uh, Twitter and Instagram to sell. I'm gonna sell them obviously at very low prices because they are used books. But yeah, we'll see. But going back to this, I really want to read this. Everybody speaks so highly of N.K. Jemisin, and uh, this would be my first book by her, and I cannot wait. Book I have I also haven't hauled yet, which is Fresh Water by Akwaki Emezi. I'm really, I tried really hard. I looked up several times how to pronounce her name. I hope I did it at least a little bit of justice. This book sounds so interesting. It's apparently about a, a, a person who was born, but then they kind of died. So they get to like inhabit other people's bodies. And yeah, 
and it's basically it's literary fiction i'm really excited about it and also just the title freshwater makes me want to read it like right now and this is you, you know i was i was thinking like at the beginning of this video i said that i'm not very excited about the prompts that they have for the upcoming weeks but now that i see that and i pulled out all of these books that i want to read and i take a look at my tbr and i see the books that i have i wonder if actually this isn't making me rethink my tbr altogether because why am i only excited about these books and not all of the other ones so i'm looking over here i, I mean there are some that of course it's not that i don't want to get to it's just that these are ones that i'm prioritizing so why am i not reading this books that i'm prioritizing over other books i don't know but anyway those are the 10 books that i am dying to get to in the second half of 2020 i am gonna film a video all about maybe like i said selling books and all that jazz and yeah my cat just wanted a little box so i guess it's time for me to bid you adieu thank you so much for watching and i will see you in another galaxy far far away bye guys